Good morning, it's Monday, Monday for a change. It is March and we're at the zoo. See what's new and what's changed. Come along, let's have a look. We've picked a really good time for this because literally next weekend the snow leopards are uh, open for members previews. So maybe on the end, if we get a chance, we'll tack on a trip to the members preview of the snow leopards as well. Anyway, let's head inside and see what's going on. Just as a little addendum to this video, yes we do go and see the snow leopards, so look out for that one in, later in the video. There will also be a few clips from the Sunday trip where things were just showing better. So when that happens I'll just pop a message in the bottom corner so you know there's no confusion on who's showing. Heading in now, it's worth mentioning they are doing random bag screening at the zoo now. Which is... You tend to do it in the summer though. Yeah. More construction. Heading this side of the zoo now, look, there's a, just behind the Gorilla Trek, the VR experience, there's a new building being put up there. Interesting. I wonder if that's to do with the uh, expansions for the uh, Africa section. But our first stop today is we're going to go and head over to the chimp enclosure. And if we head over to buy the chimps also, there's a new giraffe was announced, so we might see if we can go and see the new baby giraffe as well. That would be nice. Have a quick check of the elephants before we head over the bridge. More of them down there. The youngsters are growing. They're not so young now, actually, are they, some of them? And we are still playing about testing our new camera for exploring, so you're on that now. It's the DJI Osmo Action 4, I think. They released that many cameras. <laughs> oh, yeah, and we've got a new picnic area here as well with yeah. a new food stall. Let's go and look for some animals anyway. We picked a really lovely day for the zoo today, it's like 16 degrees C. Lovely and warm, and I've got a thick jacket on. <laughs> Perfect spring day. And because it's a Monday, not super busy. Yesterday was members day and uh, that was very busy, but we didn't go to that one. And this is r the reason why we rushed over to the chimps, because we, we heard that Boris comes out on a Monday. We haven't seen him in quite a while, so it's really good to see him. He's looking good. Nice to see Boris again, isn't mm -hmm. it? He's looking good. He's the oldest chimp, so. Yeah. And you could tell it was him because if you look at the statue down here, he was sat in exactly the same pose, with one hand over the other. Yeah, and always with the yeah the tongue. You saw I hopefully saw in the video the. And the way he walks as well. Yeah, he's very got very. He's a character. Yeah. There you go, you can see how he was kind of sat in the statue. A little bit more information of you, about Boris there for you. 
Just heading over to the giraffes, but we got a and a carpia boat, boat as well. Does have a head, I promise. <laughs> Zoo did announce the other day that a new giraffe has been born. There's a small queue to get in, but it'll be nice and quiet. And the couple of the a couple of the others are just chilling outside. And Gem just spotted there's one in in the doorway. They're looking at us as well. The queue is moving reasonably well, so we'll uh, head in and see if we can get you some bit, some uh, footage. <laughs> See the Gaboon Viper. There's a tail. There's two of the. They have the heads. Oh, over here. the back, over yeah. there. Got a pretty good the uh, view of the, the baby giraffe. Though. I'm not sure how good my footage is on the video. Mm. It looks okay, but I didn't have my glasses on, yeah. and I was focusing manually, which is never the best combination. And it's still uh, intact inside. Yes, it is. Yeah, it'll, it, it's it's literally a couple of days old. Very sweet. And a nice walk through the tropical realm. We got two sunbitten stood up on the rocks here. These are the so this bird. You, you want this bird to stretch its wings out. It's got beautiful wings. Of course, now that I'm filming, they're probably not going to do it. <laughs> the person's chameleon there. I'm also looking for one of the lizards that's in here, but it's probably hiding in plain sight, like they tend to. The southeastern girdle lizard. When you remember, that's what you come back for, is looking for lizards in the enclosures, trying to spot them all. Yep. A reflection of Gemma and the emerald tree boa. Oh, oh, Look at the young panther chameleon as well up there. It's only working his way down. <laughs> We're just debating whether it might still be too early in the year for the uh, sand lizards. The temperature's actually not too bad, so the temperature's edge yes, but... Although I'm hibernating hmm. You never know. We'll start to see them more often now as we get into the spring and the summer, though. We do get the adder, though, look. Very active today. Let's see if we can see some jaguars, I think. I love to see what time like trees are more so yeah. like that, like there are a few people stood watching into the enclosure so you never know people yeah Inca's <laughs> very popular she's a very charismatic animal I think yes. people like to wait and see much like we did a few weeks back Napo's just finished his dinner there he goes Let's see if we can see Inca now outside. Maybe she's been fed to stop off so Gemma can see the agouti of course as well. <laughs> there she is.
So while it is nice weather today, we are concentrating on outdoor because you know we don't get that many sunny days, do we? Well, that was a real treat, that's the in there. Yeah, we I, loved it. That's the best view we've had of it. Yeah, I broke out my uh, long lens camera with the photos instead of filming it. So <laughs> hopefully those photos turned out. I'll pop a, a few in the video. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah, you had Gemma Cam for a bit there as well. You're getting a fun mix of the Gibbons calling and then youngsters calling back to the Gibbons at the same time. It's quite good. There's the Gibbon up on top of the post. <laughs> and two Gibbons actually, there's a couple of them up there. Over at the giant otters, and one of them just swims immediately out of shot. <laughs> yeah. A bit less fancy. Less fence, but these look like little Velcro pads or something. There it is. I'm swimming over the back there. <laughs> you can still hear those gibbons. <laughs> Ducks are brave. Call <laughs> yeah, into June, see if we can get a quick bite to eat. Here we go, we went for fish and chips. It's 13.50 with a drink, and we got 10% off because we're members. Dinner done, we're going to have a quick look in the plant project, see if there's any nice orchids flowering. Oh, very nice. Did you enjoy your dinner? It was nice, yeah. Yeah, it was pretty good, wasn't it? Chips, but it's decent. And the chips are really good, the chips are like yeah. chips. Let's have a look in here, Ooh, it's warm. As you'd expect in a greenhouse. Mm, it smells nice in here too. Quite planty. <laughs> Some details of the plants they hold. Picture plants. This is the Pond Heritage National Plant Collection of Nepenthe. Oh, look at that, that's cool. The rumbling of the heaters is quite mm. scary, isn't it? 
Yeah. No, this is one of our little underrated gem areas. This we like coming in here, especially in the winter when it's cold outside. And we've got the extensive cactus collection. That's uh, yeah. That one's got a drooper. I like that one. I love the flowers on the cactus as well. We had a couple in our house that flowered at one point. They were really cool. Look at this though, the orchids all flowering. Beautiful. And in here too. Yeah, yeah, we've been in the past and they've done that. It's very cool. Get quite close to look at these here. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Colours are really good, aren't they? Yeah. Everyone else is queuing to see a giraffe and we're uh, yeah, the only ones the looking at the orchids today. Yeah, one of the uh, catering team was saying it was an hour and a half to see the, the baby giraffe. I mean, it was the members' day, so it was busy there. Yeah, we were pretty lucky. These are nice as well. Fantastic. That one's nice as well. Oh, yeah, because vanilla comes with orchids. Ah, yeah. There's a few pitcher plants outside as well. Mm -hmm. We'll have a look at some owls. We can't get further than here because this is where the, uh, they're preparing for the opening of the snow leopards. We can see the manal. Beautiful. Those colours. Yeah, and the bird worlds, it's the males are the ones that are the colourful ones generally. And there's the female manal. I actually quite like the, the brown colours in it. There's a la laughing spotting, spotted laughing fruit behind there as well. Oh, yeah. Laughing spotted. <laughs> yeah, so here we are preparing for snow leopards, which there is a members preview for. So if we can get to the members preview, I'll pop some footage in now. It's going to be a separate separate zoo visit though. So as promised, it is Sunday, and we're now in the queue to go and see the members preview for the snow leopards. Uh, we'll let you know how long the queue. <laughs> Just join in the queue by the cheetahs, well, the cheetah. A nice touch for the queue. They've got some of the, uh, the, the staff here actually doing some more talks about uh, red pandas and things like that in, in the queue while you were, which is really good. And uh, we just seen a red panda skull, which is a lot smaller than I would have thought. Yeah. Proving that red pandas have a lot of hair. A big fluffy head. <laughs> yeah, a big fluffy head. So there's the new enclosure over there, and the queue just runs across the back of the oak field. Just over here. I think we're about a third of the way through so far. It's been about 10 minutes. An opportunity to pick up some snow leopard ice cream, white mint choc mint ice cream with dark choc chips. There's also a, a bar here if you fancy a pint and you can <laughs> or a coffee, yeah. Been in the queue about 40 minutes and we're just getting to the front now. And some of the rock work that they put in here. A bit of information on them. It looks like the enclosure covers the old paddock that used to be here. We'd occasionally see zebra, we'd occasionally see onager, in there. Uh, and then it covers the old uh, nursery for the birds, the overstock for the birds, and then we're moving on to other collections as well. And then just connects back up to where the snow leopards were on the other side. Sorry, the red pandas were on the other side. And we can start to get a view of the outdoor enclosures here. So on the left we've got the female, and on the right we've got the male. They're not currently mixed. Over to Gemma with the names. <laughs> the female's called Moodle. She's come from a Germany. 
There you go. And those who've watched a lot of our vlogs will know we did go to Highland Wildlife Park, but I don't think we saw the snow leopards. I think we saw the male. <laughs> we have seen was them in the past, the I think, <laughs> a couple of times. So if they'd come out, we would have seen them in the river. Yeah. Yeah, there have been some lengthy discussions on what we would have seen at Highland because we think we might have seen a different set of cubs. It was a long, like it was four years ago. A lot of the uh, bunting up on me above us there. Said to Gemma, it's like being in the queue for Everest at Walt Disney World. Yeah. <laughs> they have a, a display TV set up there with snow up and on. I don't know if it's the live cam, I don't think it is. Just some highlight footage like with the tigers, I imagine. Yeah, heading inside. Yeah, Gemma's already eyeing up some of these uh, for all. I'm in the garden, I think we're in the MLAs. You can see the outdoor enclosure here. And some of the plaques you could do to sponsor the animals here as well, bit of information. We didn't sponsor them. £500 a plaque. Okay. £500 a plaque, okay. <laughs> so yeah, there's not going to be any cat in this, on the outdoor part of this in a minute. We know where she is. You can see down the back there is the offshore facilities as well. A covered enclosure. Snow leopard's very agile. Yeah, it will be fun because we've uh, been to zoos where we've seen we've walked past the snow leopard sleeping in the rocks. <laughs> now here we have the onshore indoor enclosures. And we have we have under authority that Nubra is in here. Yeah. And Yashin is hiding up the back of the enclosure, so we might not see him, but we will see this one. Okay, maybe, maybe it might be able to spot his tail then. There's Nubra, fast asleep. Kind of look in the corner there. Bit of an overview of this. This won't be their only indoor facility, by the way. I'm assuming heated rocks as well, they're always popular with cats. Yeah. Maybe not with snow because they've got a lot of fur on them. <laughs> and on this side we've got the male's indoor enclosure, Yashin. Well, he's not currently in it. I have a feeling he might have been in at some point because there's a few bar prints on there. <laughs> just pan back a bit and show you the whole thing. Right. Spin round that way. We've got some uh, interactive educational elements in there as well. And some more of the footprint signs. And this is the male's outdoor facility. Yeah. Yeah, we'll try and get a little bit closer and show you in in a minute if we can. It's a nice little water feature here and a waterfall. I'm sure once the planting sort of takes hold as well, it'll be a bit more uh, like covered in here for them as well. So it is a difficult spot, but he is just there in the entrance where. A little look at some of the educational stuff in here. These tactile wooden maps. Information about conservation. And British Sign Language descriptions on the QR codes as well, it's pretty good. Cool. There's a nice little uh, spinny wheel toy there for educational tool for kids to play with. But kids are playing with it, so I'll leave them to it. Need <laughs> your information. You're going to do a snow leopard shuffle. <laughs> I'll, I'll put a clip in now of Gemma doing a snow leopard, leopard shuffle. <laughs> few more rocks on the outside with a bit more information. It's a really nice uh, facility, that really nice enclosure. And lots of nice planting as well. Looking forward to seeing it uh, settling and also as a result of that being tidied up a bit. So the Red Panda 2 has had a bit of a tidy up. So new fencing on the front of it and new information. Not sure if the pandas are in here just yet. Yeah, some new new feeding parts here. Gemma said there's a new house at the back by the looks of it as well. Oh yeah, I can see a shed over there and some uh, new slates gone down. 
a bit of a bit of a tidy up. It's nice. And of course, you can exit through the gift shop as well. <laughs> Little gift stall with some first bent in there. Yeah, that's the. Uh... Mm, there's the new indoor facility for them, and there's the rock gem I just mentioned. Looks good. Did you enjoy it? It's it's not did. Good. It's, yeah. So it happens hard to see anyway. We did yeah. see one of them quite close up. I'm looking forward yeah. to coming back very, and seeing very it. Nice oh, enclosure. Yeah. That's, so, a, that's a winter enclosure that needs some benches. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's us for the snow leopards. We'll go back to the rest of the, the uh, vlog and you can enjoy the rest of our Monday trip. <laughs> yeah, the uh, Cabot's Trager Pan. Beautiful. When, you know what you're being talked about too. <laughs> Did all see, see the red tail laughing thrush mm -hmm. knocking around at the back there? With Mrs. Tragapan. Mrs. Tragapan. Yeah. The uh, white crested laughing thrush is over the back there. You see one fly out. Oh, there we go. One just flew in down here. Can we see it? No. Hello, <laughs> there we go. Better view. I think we've made some friends here. Come over to see us. Nice, aren't they? Them. Seen them before, I, I mean, I don't know. I lose track with birds, to be honest. But we've seen the other ones. I appreciate the them, but, but I do not, forget not which not I haven't and haven't haven't seen. And there's the other tragopan as well. Oh, Is it Sat bird. Satya tragopan? Satya. Satya. Not like a mythological creature. Beautiful oh, yeah, colours. Look. Wow. Wow. Like oh wow. Oh wow. <laughs> the colours on him. Fantastic. So the, these are called Saita because they're named after mythological goat-like creature because when the explains the ladies they put horns up on the top of the head. You have to come at the right time of year to see them. To yeah, or oh, we could just watch you flip your horns up instead. <laughs> I think we're off for a wander then. That was good, I enjoyed looking at the, watching the birds. I'm getting quite excited about that snow leopard and coat closure as well, it looks good. Get the eggs for Easter. Yeah, we're doing that Easter egg hunt. Easter egg hunt. So work. Oh, yeah. 23rd, starts on the 23rd. Oh, okay. So we're going to head over to Madagascar, have a look at uh, Fossa and Lemurs and Sipaka. I'm forgetting what's in there. I think before we go to uh, Madagascar, we'll just go and ch check out the Komodo dragons. We've been in there since the last visit. Oh. <laughs> we are we are big fans of Komodo dragons, so it's always uh, nice to go and see them, especially the youngster. The youngster is very cute. Yeah. Oh. Adult is over the back there. Right through the trees. The youngster, he's up in the top. Still at the moment. Kind of looking round a little bit. Next one right here. Nobody's home. There's a jammer. What are we looking for? Mandano Lalakeet, which I've just seen at the back there. Mm. Oh. I can hear one up there, so just up there through the trees. Um, always good to look with your ears, which sounds stupid, but you hear them before you see them usually. Especially when they're being that noisy. <laughs> and once you've done it for a while, you start to immediately hone into the location. Most deer's in here. Most deer in here. The We've not had much luck stars. with most deer of late. We didn't see any in uh, Spain this time in Wangarola. In the bio park, not just walking the streets no, on a scooter. Yeah. Didn't see any here today. No, there's a pheasant leaf pigeon in the back. It's a doves, yeah. Oh, wow. Into Madagascar. Here we go down. 
Is there anything I need to know? Yeah. Oh, fine. Yeah. Well, then. Go. I was rushing over to see the Tafaka. It is very cute, to be fair. There's one of the adults. Mm -hmm. Youngster certainly grown quickly. Almost as big as mum and dad. <laughs> Hanging upside down. Is it? Have a walk round. Yeah, we don't super often go through the lemur enclosure, but today I think we will. The Safaka do have outdoor access as well, they've got all this, it's huge. And sometimes you'll see them bouncing along here, which is always sweet, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, why not? Our favourites. Back there. Back in the corner. And down here as well. Oh god look. <laughs> mm, yeah, just from the other side, look, we've got the two youngsters there. And then we happen to notice mum flat out on the floor in the corner down here. And those paws, she reminds us of Pixie. And a cat. These are not cats, of course, but they do have certain feline qualities. We'll walk through the lemurs. I mean, you said llamas then. Looks like he's about to steal his yeah, carrot. Jump on top of. That's, that's like push him off the ledge. <laughs> Member of staff informed us that uh, that was probably about the best view we get because they've just been fed. And since the sun's gone in, a lot of lemurs have gone in. The yeah, you can hear them in the trees, can you? Hoggy pig noises. Hoggy pig yeah. noises. The brown ones. Oh, yeah. Well, they like to smell like a little pig or something. And then we can go out. Where to next? Where do you fancy going? Um, I don't know. Can I go to islands? Yeah, we could make our way over towards islands. It'd be nice. Well, before we, yeah. Before we make our way towards islands, we'll go and see if we can see the cheetah. Can't come to the zoo and not make an attempt to see as many cats as possible. Oh. Although I think we might miss lions today. Just relaxing in the uh, in the grass. Challenging to get the camera to focus on the cat, not the not the fence. There we go. You inside and outside the fence. You'll be saying that if you were inside. 
You can hear some that get being opened further away and it looks like the cat can too. Is that gonna fuck me though? Yeah, this false alarm, back to sleep. Oh. Heading up towards Painted Dogs before we head over to Islands, slowly making our way. Not all the dogs are actually on the hill down there today, right down at the bottom. Almost like they're waiting for dinner. seen the keepers over the back. Mm. Inches away from the glass now. Okay. And they've all wandered up to the back of the enclosure here now. That was the single best interaction with these I think we've ever had. Just having them all in the, the window there. They were obviously... Well, they all came into the window as one of the keepers left, so they were obviously interested in what the keeper was doing. So you obviously, if you're, if you're in the right spot, you take advantage of it when there's a keeper knocking about. Get some nice photos and pictures. get to uh, islands at some point we keep getting distracted by cool stuff today don't we we just stopped for about three minutes trying to figure out what a little bird was that was flying about but we couldn't make an identification on it it was very pretty though more distractions stopping us from getting to islands what the spectacle birds are heading up the back there typically his head's just in the bushes Oh yeah, Robin just bouncing around, he's actually looking at the Robin. There he is, the big fella. Just chilling on the side of the hill there, what a life. <laughs> We get in there, and as we're getting close to islands, the noise of construction from the Africa yeah. section is getting more prominent. And some new signage up here. And the Philippine spotted deer are now in this enclosure here. And one of them's actually out on shore today. It's nice. Proper keeping that lawn trim. <laughs> Oh yeah, so of the back in the corner. I don't know if I'll be able to zoom in and show you. Oh, it just got spooked by the birds. Lots of activity over here now. Lots of construction. The buildings that we saw last time that were just frames are now getting uh, filled up with walls. And the big, presumably, giraffe house over there. The big tall doors. Very exciting. More construction over the back by, you can see uh, the rhino house there as well, so it's not too far away from that. And all the protect protected trees there are all fenced off. And some new trees over this side too. Obviously, I pointed out earlier, but they've got this signage talking about what Chester Zoo does with uh, science in the wild as well. Kind of his picture plant on that one. 
there's that spotted deer, youngster. It blends in really well with the water. It does, yeah. It's also trying to it worry the jackdaws. Oh, yeah. Well. Trying to watch it, trying to worry the jackdaws is kind of funny, especially because it got spooked by them. He's got his horns. Oh, antlers. And just here is where the old bridge used to be to get into islands. We finally made it after many distractions. We'll probably be in here now in five minutes now. <laughs> Let's see how much better the view is as we walk around here now. The last time when the lake was drained. We're back. All filled in. Boats up and running. If you're a boat fan, you can come and do, ride the ride the ride. Looks good. You can get more sneaky peeks of construction work over here. Look, it's going all the way up to the edge of islands. And over there, you can the back. You can see the road, the entrance and exit to the zoos over that way. Let's carry on into islands anyway. We need to see animals, not construction. Heading through the water pig enclosure. We did see one. Not in the best spot too, sorry, but not in the best spot. Uh, that one's not too bad though down there. There you go. Gotta be careful, I don't want to drop my phone in the enclosure. <laughs> it almost like sounded like that pig heard me say I dropped my phone in the enclosure and looked at it was like, ooh, phone. The others. There's one by the fence down there and one on the other side. It must be separated at the minute. Oh, Gemma spotted some more. Look, we do like the water pigs, they're nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cross the Bounty Bridge. It does wobble just ever so slightly. And the ultimate question is, will we have any luck with tigers today? Mm -hmm. uh, we've been hit and miss on tigers. And mainly miss. Mainly miss, yeah. For the amount of times we've probably put them in the video, we've been like maybe twice as many times and not seen them. And I don't think we'll see any Bantang today because there's a keeper walking through the enclosure. Well, I've got to be honest, it's not looking promising. It's late though. It is late. But when there's absolutely no one here, that usually means there's no tigers either. Could they could be. Sometimes you get lucky though, and you'll just stand yeah. here and they'll just wander in. And you're the first person to see them for a little while. Looking for clues. Moving bushes is usually a good one. Well, the wind blowing isn't helping. As we found out last time we were here, they like this corner down here. But they also like over by the, the pond on the other side. We have a spotting of a tiger. You can see it on the video there. Let's get around the other side and see if it's a better view. Gemma set off running. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing that walk run thing. Sustainable farm oil plantations actually made in places that have been created by worse palm oil production in the past that has then been abandoned. So it's land where there's already nothing living and they only have a. Uh, it was a very quiet day. Very quiet. I was still there. There was, there was literally there. Was only me and it's one visitor annoying. here yeah. and tigers. I was stood here having a chat with my back to the uh, the habitat like this. Having a lovely chat, we were like, oh no, sadly the tigers are hiding away. In fact, it was at a time when we only had Kasana in here. She was on her own. You hear the, the dove calling there. This has got to be a good spot for falling asleep in the zoo. Let's get himself snuggled up down there. Yeah, we had some good luck with the tigers though, they were out and about, so that was good. And we also got to listen to the talk, which 
to be fair, it's something we don't often do and we do forget that every day they have a programme of talks about the animals, give you a bit more information and uh, that talk was really good, talking about sustainable palm oil. Yeah, the zoo does have an app on the app store that you can download. The yellow one. Oh, cool. Yeah. We've got some gothy starlings up there as well. Yeah, the zoo does have an app. You can download and you can scan products and see if they've got sustainable palm oil. It's worth a look. Nobody in here today? No signage up now. We've got an extreme close to Pajama's head though. <laughs> yeah. So Gemma saw that. And then we spotted some of them at the top as well. It's good. Oh, and we saw the dove was calling. Yeah. There's the glossy style. And she was sat in the branches as well. With the Bronstel yeah, Peacock Pheasant, yeah, we also, we also saw that one. It's a pretty good run for in here, actually. Mm -hmm. It's been nice. Another extreme close to pyjama. <laughs> no birds today, no some birds, but no another good talk on about the meeting honey. I head up the hill. See if there's any orangutans about. Indeed, we did get some uh, orangutans knocking about. Certainly enjoying the uh, flowers on this bush. Making all the best ones. We can hear this commotion from the other side of the orangs. Look at the parrots in here. Oh, it's there, I can see it. <laughs> yeah. Purple net lorries. Oh, that's loud. We have three as a pet. No. <laughs> hey, that risks from talking to the illegal songbird. Songbird, yeah, like that. <laughs> it's awfully loud and shrill. I think this is one of our longer days in the zoo that we've had of late. Mm -hmm. We got here around lunchtime, it's now four o'clock. And the zoo does shut at four o'clock, so we do need to make our, sorry, at half four, so we do need to make our way to the front now. We'll start picking our way out. Did also just notice that the uh, there are QR codes around now for mobile ordering for food, which is pretty good. Got a bit Disney though. <laughs> Swirl dull pineapple whip update. It's not open, but the sign's back up with the prices on. Wasn't the same last time though. <laughs> it was nice enough though. We're formulating an exit, exit strategy that will take us about half an hour, give or take. We're going to go and check out the Tamandua. Miniature monkeys, 
one horned rhino and then down from there out. I have never been to the zoo and seen so much spilled ice cream. <laughs> like, yeah, there's just loads of it today. Have a quick check on the Tamandua. I think I can see one already. <laughs> There we go. Curled up fast asleep. It is not surprising, they are nocturnal. <laughs> Smashing. They're nice, aren't they? Yeah. And there's your other side of the construction with the your animal houses here. And this would have been where the uh, Dick Kirk's Dick Dick was and the Avery. It's just over the other side there with the hide. I think the hide's gone. It has, yeah. We go up this way to three miniatures. Let's see if we can see any mini monkeys. This would be another area where you're listening rather than looking. Tops of the trees have been trimmed back a bit. Don't hear anything though. We often see them in the indoor area around the corner. Oh, we just seen one going in its house. Uh, it's just a tail hanging down. Oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Always the way, isn't it? There you go, Little heads off. claims to have seen a giant anteater. Yeah. I don't believe the. Oh, there it is, yeah. <laughs> Not, not a frequent uh, view in this zoo, although to be honest, we've been quite lucky with them. They've seen them quite a few times, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. This is the youngster. I see. I think we were led astray as, as to how brave they can be when we went to Blackpool Zoo and they were yeah. just practically just wandering up to you to Zello. Yeah. This is the Tick Tick Hours, just turned one. Mm. It's coming a little bit closer to us. I'm going back again. <laughs> Always the way. <laughs> well, we were about to leave because the rhinos weren't about, and then it popped out Sailor. And there's another one. Woman youngster. Oh, she's massive. Isn't she just? Rubbing up against mum. Ah, with 15 minutes to spare, we'll uh, make our exit and get stuck in traffic on the way home. <laughs> Without a one to one shot. Yeah. We were going to see if the uh, black rhino were out of the knot, so we're going to have a quick look at the shop before we leave. And they've got some uh, good leads for the native exhibition. Would you like a 
like a bat eraser. I need to get myself a plastic bottle for the I think you need a bat ruler. A bat ruler. <laughs> These are great. <laughs> Especially the foot the mouth. <laughs> well, you can now get adoptions and gift experiences right from the shop. We're all done for the day. Did you have a nice day? I did, yeah. Well, it was good, yeah. What was your favourite thing? Um, I think painted dogs, you know. Painted dogs was a good choice, yeah. I enjoyed that. And uh, seeing Inca as well properly, it was nice yeah. as well. I said properly. But Probably about it was at the end there as well. Oh, yeah. So we've had some really good, up close views of some good animals today. Anyway. Oh, and the baby aunties. And the baby aunties, yeah. Anyway, we're going to head off and we'll see you in the next one. That poor car looks lonely, aren't they? That poor car, yeah. <laughs> God, yeah, this car park was full and now it's nearly empty. It's not like us with the saying this lot. No. <laughs> but we'll see you in the next one anyway. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.